What's up everybody? Tindo here and check this out. Today's video is going to start a little bit different than my videos normally start. When you click on them normally, my face comes up, I say what's up, it's early in the morning and we go thrifting. Today's going to start a little bit different because it's actually the night before I would normally wake up to start shooting this video. See what's happened is I was kind of sitting around and uh, doing some prep work for some future videos and I don't know how to explain this really other than to say I'm just feeling really, 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 really motivated right now. I need to get some work done so we're just going to start this video early baby, night before. I'm going to get some work done here in the game room, there's some reasons why I'll uh, explain, just stick around. And then basically what will happen after that is I'll go to sleep for four or five hours and you won't have to wait because I'll just be able to snap my fingers and uh, you guys will be able to jump ahead and we'll go thrifting at that time and do some other stuff. So stick around. I has lamp. Here's just one of the things that's got me motivated to do some work here in this game room. This is some sort of Ikea TV stand. I'm sure it's got a name that I can't pronounce, but it was sitting outside in the trash. Now it is for a modern flat screen here. And then of course it has these roughly 12 by 12 inch cubicles and stuff. And uh, it's white. That's one of the biggest things about it that I'm in love with. I'm gonna paint it bright yellow, of course, for reasons that should be obvious. If they're not obvious, you've got problems with your eyeballs. But uh, this is something I've been wanting forever. Uh, I don't like this CRT setup I've got going on over here. I've been wanting to make it fit this game room better for ages. Now, this is gonna take some modification to get it to work the way that I want because I'm not putting a flat screen in there, at least not right now. I'd love to, but I'm not bringing the flat screen out of my bedroom because that's where I watch everything. Uh, but we are gonna do some changes right now to kind of get that ready. I'm not gonna paint it today, I'm not gonna install it today, but I like showing every step of these game room changes in these videos because if you go back and watch our entire catalog, you can see this place just morph and change day in and day out into what it has become thus far. And uh, I can't wait to one of these days make one of those beautiful, long, almost time-lapse like videos of all the changes this game room has ever been uh, went through. But I can't do that if I don't document it every day. So let's, let's do a little bit here to kind of get ready for it. And I think one of the first things I'm gonna do is go ahead and get all of this stuff off this wall over here. Early on in my game room videos, I'm telling you, I, I always hated it. I would just, I would bring home lots of stuff like used to over here where my gaming rig now is. I would uh, hang up gaming uh, handheld bags, like Game Boy bags and stuff on the wall. And I always loved my game handheld collection, uh, gaming bag collection, I don't even know what to call it, but I always hated the way that it looked. And you know what? I've got a lot of Pez over here and I hate the way they look. So they're gonna come down and I'm basically gonna keep a few of them. Like I have some of the classic Pokemon ones. So that's gonna stay in my Pokemon collection. That's not going anywhere, but a lot of them are. A lot of them I'm gonna put in my toy booth. There's a few more, like there's some Ninja Turtle ones that you guys have sent me and a couple others. Uh, I'm gonna keep those and we're gonna just build a smaller display somewhere. But all of that real soon should have that TV stand in front of it. And uh, I don't know, we're, we're, we're gonna go through some changes, but probably after we thrift tomorrow or before it, I'm also gonna drop off some toys at my toy booth. So that'll be a good chance to get some of this nonsense down and to get some price tags on it. Also coming down is my Mario Hot Wheel collection. I thought this would be really cool to collect. Didn't realize how dumb I was because it was not long after they started making them that they kept on making them. And now there's dozens more than I, I expected to have to collect, but that's exactly how that was always gonna go. I just didn't think it through. So I think I'm gonna probably just not collect them. I've got an open version of all the ones I have. <laughs> I, uh, whenever they came out, I bought two of each. I hung one on the wall and opened one. And uh, I'll go ahead and throw a quick clip in here right now to show you uh, why I bought them in the first place. Look at this. I can't reach. 
Oops. I'm too, I'm not tall enough. We're not gonna hang anything on these walls. When this uh, game room's done, there'll be nothing hanging. It'll just be bookshelves with stuff. And a TV stand with a CRT, because what's a game room without a giant CRT? You know what I mean? I just had a really good idea. Ye old Mario Lamp needs to go. This Tindo's trash light-up sign that I made didn't really ever show it off on the channel. It looks terrible it's exposed this way on the camera. It's a lot more colorful than that in real life, but it's just really bright. Let's get rid of that for now. One of my prized possessions. <laughs> Another of my prized possessions. Watch this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? TV's so big, it's almost a joke. It's almost a joke how big it is. Now, check this out. This is the TV stand designed for a aspect ratio TV that is 16 by nine. And I'm sure that the people who designed it knew what they were doing and designed the, instruct the structural integrity of it for thus. But I'm gonna make some changes to it, as I do with almost everything I own. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. A whole lot of yes. A whole lot of yes. The only thing I don't like about this, I was trying to save some room by going vertical, and I do, I save two or three feet. Uh, but the one thing I don't like about it is these tall skinny ones. What do I put in there? I could take that whole bit out, but I'm already gonna have to add some structural integrity back when I take, I think, this off. Not sure if it has to go yet, but pretty certain it will. But that's gonna go back there in the corner, and I'm gonna fill out the rest of it with yellow shelves. And that will be where my CRT goes, and that will be where, that'll be where all my consoles go. I think we're making the right choice here. Could I get it my way, I'd probably go ahead and put a big flat screen in there like it's meant to be, and then just put the CRT on top. But I'm not gonna go buy, I'm not gonna go buy a whole new flat screen just for this. It's not gonna happen. Something like that. Can you picture it? Can you picture it yellow? I don't know. I don't know if I'm loving it. I think if it were yellow and you couldn't see through to the back, if I put a panel on the back of it, I think it's gonna be what I want. And then on top of the CRT, once the CRT's in here, I'll use this very piece of wood to build a shelf on top of it and I'll have a whole other big shelf for some other things, probably some inbox console or something. But I'm happy to make this thing work and I'll tell you why. I've looked at every single TV station at Goodwills for months now, trying to get this little bit of work done. And they're always like a hundred bucks, even if they're those old 70s wooden ones. And I'm just like, that's an all for me dog. So I'm gonna make this work. Uh, you may not see it yet, but I think when I get it done, you'll be like, Okay, I got it, I see it. You know it's serious when the power tools come out. But you don't always need to get power tools out. Sometimes a screwdriver will do. Forget these aren't screws, they're just little tighten my bobs. And I think we got a little bit of lefty tighty righty loosey going on here. I think that's what I'm finding out. I know actually it's even better. Far right, far left is tight. But if you just get it right in the middle, then she's loose. Ikea furniture, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's a nice piece of wood. Now, I got another good idea. However, I'm not completely sold on this one yet. I can be talked out of it, but pegboard for the backing. What do you think? Cause then that way I can put what I want to on most of it, but at least on the bigger spaces, I can hang a few smaller items. I think, I think I'm approaching the point where I can't be talked out of it. So maybe don't try. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. All right, I'm a little bit warm and I thought I recorded the clip during this, but I guess the camera wasn't on. But that there, got the pegboard as the back wall. I gotta buy some more of it, it's not enough to do it, but I'm really obsessive about not showing that white wall behind there. So that'll be all bright yellow. It'll have peg hooks in it, uh, hanging some of the product all over my game room, right above that CRT. I think it'll be good. 
I'm very happy with that. I'll just have to, we're not gonna get this done today, but I'll have to pick up some more pegboard or something tomorrow from the Home Depot, and then we'll get that bad boy painted. Uh, I probably might end up actually taking that bottom piece off because CRT in order to fit in there, it's probably not gonna, it's probably not gonna sit. Um, so I'll either have to take it off or kind of get the saws all out, not the saws all, but the jigsaw, that's what I'm looking for, and cut the shape of the back of the CRT out. I don't know, but uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes. Right now, I just want to get her yellowed. That's what I want to do, but I'm not going to paint this late at night. It's like, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. So what do we do now? I don't know. We've moved into tank top territory because it's just getting too hot. It's, I kid you not, it's really late at night. It's still like 110 degrees outside. Uh, I've made a slight miscalculation. Apparently I have the biggest CRT in the world. So this space is not wide enough to accommodate it. So this skinny part that I already said I didn't like needs to come out. And that's not gonna be hard because it's not in there very well to begin with. It really should not be as easy as it is, that is, but it's just wooden pegs holding it together. Uh, I'd like to save this piece of wood and not tear it up though because it's the same thickness pretty much as my shelves. I can paint it yellow, cut it to size, and these yellow shelves through here will have, or I could repurpose it for up here, I don't know, but we gotta, we gotta save it. Here's how we're gonna fix the situation. A little Japanese saw, almost paper thin. We're gonna get right under there. Those wooden dowels, and we're just gonna snip, snip. Saw is so thin. It's beautiful. I just gotta get to the other one without losing an eyeball. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> get you one of those if you don't have one. This is not a good one, this is a cheap one, but it works. There we go. Now we've got plenty of room for the CRT. Here is another of my prized possessions. This one from the Goodwill bins. Cardboard cutout of your boy Crash. I love this thing. I would say these are more of one of Hannah's prized possessions. I mean, I do like them. Definitely not saying that I don't, but I bought these for Hannah. Also at the Goodwill bins, I came home with them one day. She could not believe it. I couldn't believe I found them. $7 a piece. That's what they charged me. Now, I just realized something. That one wooden peg was holding in two different shelves. So we gotta put that back. No problems. Probably kind of wish I'd put some glue on it. Make it a little bit more permanent. This Ikea furniture could usually use a little bit of glue. I don't know, it also doesn't have to be catty corn at all. I guess it, I don't like shelves taking up corners though. Cause I want to go all the way over here with these shelves. So that's not happening. I just want to be clear. It has to be, I don't know. It has to be catty quartered in some regard. You know, I could move these bookshelves, put this here and take up the corner with a much smaller, yeah, that's seeming like a better choice. Not make the CRT gaming setup a corner piece, make it center wall and then take up the corner space with one of those, just like I did that bookcase. I like how we're just figuring this out together as I go. Whew, it's a lot of work to do right now, isn't it? Isn't it? We're going to have to think about it. We're going to have to think about it for a minute. Chill out. All right, we're making moves. We're doing it. Just all there is to it. No more excuses. Use your body weight. Knock over all your games. Now, this isn't perfect. It still cuts off a bit of that corner, but nowhere near as much as using that thing does. And then we finish off that wall there with a couple shelves. Now, I have an idea how to improve that even better because it is a little bit of catabawampus. I can't really show you a good shot of this right now because there's too much stuff right there for me to put the camera for you to see a full view. But they make these shelves that are half the width. They're the exact same dimensions, just half. And I think that if I put one of the halves here, and one on the other side, it would make this way more symmetrical and go around the room way easier. But either way, it's gonna look so dope when it's yellow. Now let me show you something that I've literally had dreams about and it is going to give me goosebumps. See this cubby hole? <laughs> I 
That's why I bought it. That's why I've been looking for one that small. That is perfect. You can't tell me any different. Big CRT, little CRT. Let's go. I just got out my handy dandy. You know what I was about to do. Yellow eyes, yellow, yellow eyes, yellow, yellow and eyes, yellow. I was gonna make it yellow. Hannah said, what are you doing? I was like, I'm gonna paint it. She said, we don't have any paint. She used it all in the last project. So this is definitely not getting done till tomorrow. So I guess it's bedtime. So check this. I'm gonna snap my fingers. We'll cut to the better part of tomorrow. You ready? And it's the next day. Check this out. We're gonna stop at Joanne's before we get today started because this girl right here has been sewing so much that she's broken all but one of her sewing needles. <laughs> so we gotta run in Joanne and see if they have the right sewing needles that we need. You got options. Yeah, get them heavy duty ones, tough girl. <laughs> She's just been sewing denim and just crushing those needles. Are those gonna be good? Get a bunch of them. I'm gonna get two. Let's not do this again for a while. Get three of them. Okay, I get three. <laughs> Look at these Nickelodeon candies. I want, oh my God, that's kind of morbid. Eat my head. Hannah, eat my brains. <laughs> SkyMed is alive. Swipe. And here comes the yellow. We're all over the place today. I went ahead and got that painted and I've been working on it and I'm very happy. I gotta get the CRT in there though, but that's gonna be work for later because we gotta get to the thrift store. We gotta get to the post office, get all this stuff dropped off with just tons of packages there. Uh, gotta get there before it closes. Gotta get over to one of our uh, toy and dish boots and restock it. It's gonna be the biggest restock ever. We've got like four Ikea bags in there. How are we gonna get all this out of the car? That's the real question. I guess let me get this, let me get these packages out of the way and then you can back that thing on up. Back it up. All right, easy does her. All right, got a pretty good bunch of packages here to drop off. Sold some posters over on Tindo's Trash. Gotta get the face mask on. I picked out the best one today. Ooh, the bestest. But mine's pretty cool too. Well, I've always worn these bandanas on my forehead, so you don't always get to see all the cool ones. <laughs> you know what? I got the yellow shades on. I should have done Batman. I know, right? Too late now. And I got pink for Taz's mouth. Taz is dope. Uh, I'm kind of getting used to wearing a face mask. Still not ideal. It'll be interesting to see how easy it is once I shave all this. I'm shaving somewhere around August 2nd or 3rd. It'll be our uh, 365th video in a row. I've been saying since we started this channel, I was going to grow it out every day we shot a video in a row until the first year. I'm not going to do two years. Too much to ask. Where am I going? We got to get the packages. <laughs> Just going to walk into the post office and stand there. All right, here, hold this big flappy one. And then I'll get this. We'll check the P.O. box while we're in here too. See if we got any Prezzies. Check this out. We got two packages, but I can't get that one today because uh, they're closed. We got here about 15, 20 minutes too late for that, but that's okay, because we'll get this one today. We'll grab that other one next time. Oh my God. Hannah, is that real? There's three of them in there. All right, this one is from Zach in Ohio. Oh my God, there's four. <laughs> this one's from Jeremy in New Mexico. <laughs> what is happening? This one's from uh, Ivan in Long Beach. We used to live in Long Beach, Ivan. Yeah, I knew an Ivan too. They lived there. Can't be the same one though. And then this one's from Shane in Washington. Well, we don't need to go thrifting. Yeah, probably shouldn't now. Jesus. Four in one day, that's got to be a record. Actually, there's five. There's another one in there, but we can't get it because they're closed. <laughs> well, you know. All right, guys, I'm tired of all the work. Let's go play now. It's Goodwill time. I tried to cover this Goodwill last week because it's one we like to frequent, but I put what I thought was it in the GPS last week and we went somewhere else. So this one ought to be fresh today. Oh, cool. We've got some Libby shot glasses in box. Five bucks. Honestly, they're probably not worth a ton, but I'll look them up and see. Those are kind of cool. I might come back for them. Right off the bat, I see something I'm going to get. Nope, I'm not. I thought that was a Connect game. <laughs> so that'd be fun on the Connect. I don't know why I'd be on the Connect. That's a good game. We played this on the channel not too long ago. 
I don't think it was worth anything, but I'll hold on to it and check. Is there anything else worth getting? Nope. Oh, wow. Some Charlie Brown glasses for $1.49. There's more to life than being cute. No, there's not. <laughs> this one. Oh, this one's a little damaged. Oh, I really want to get them all, but should I just not get that one because it's damaged? I don't know. I guess someone's not going to care if they're getting the full set. Four glasses is better than having three. I might as well get it. Well, they have definitely restocked. There's a lot here. I'm not seeing anything worth running at yet. Well, that scared me. He's got a laser beam for his eyeball. Oh, well, there's another T-Rex. It's a few Nerf, but none of it's anything I need. Hmm. Oh, baby, mother load. 1249. 1249. Uh, these Skylanders, though. 549 a bag. Been selling a lot of these in the booths. I really don't want to buy them unless they've got some good ones in them. That one's pretty good. That one's all right. That one's got special edition. Mm, none of these are really looking worth getting. I've got so many Skylanders now, I've got all of this. There's one I don't have. Usually when, it, when these pop up, I'll buy the bag that has any in it that I don't have, so I can keep it and sell the rest. He might be an addition. That black one might be an addition I don't have. I'm gonna hold on to that. What was the other one I said I don't have? I don't forgot. That's peculiar. But I guess it's kind of cool. Eat your chicken noodle soup out of a American Red Cross bowl. Interesting. I'm telling you, this Goodwill never lets me down. I should probably buy that. Those aren't the easiest clips to come by. But the head, oh my God, there's so much to talk about right here. All right, first of all, uh, this clip, it's solid color and stuff. I sell those a lot. That's easy to sell. I put that in the booth, it'll sell. Now, this clear clip specifically goes with a gun that I have about 10 of and no clips because I like to sell it with the original clip. And I used to come across them way more than I do now. I don't come across them very often, so I don't sell them very often. I stopped buying the gun because I just, I'm way behind, but I'll be able to sell one now. And four bucks, killer. I'm, th I'm thinking about buying this just for the darts. These are the Nerf uh, Velcro darts for dart tag. And I don't have quite enough of those. When I get the dart tag guns, I like to sell it with the dart tag darts. So maybe I'll get that too. The Nerf dart tag's pretty cool. You uh, wear a vest that is Velcro and then the Velcro darts stick to it. It's pretty cool. And also, that's interesting. Very interesting. I think I'm winning the Tupperware war this week. I keep finding it before Hannah and I can't let it sit on the shelf. I could try to let her find it, but then someone else will buy it. This is a good one. It's in great shape and it has the emblem on the front. Let's go. And honestly, there's probably more of it here if I look hard enough. Uh, I don't feel like digging, so we're gonna go with gnaw, but we me find Hannah. Dang, I was gonna say three in a row. I found two bigger ones of these the last two days but this one's missing the lid. Look, there she is, I'm gonna interrupt her clip. And this isn't a percolator, it's just a copy bot, but you know. I've interrupted your clip. What? Are you filming me? Yeah. I'm filming you, filming okay. me. Oh my gosh. Soup! And it's <laughs> <laughs> That's all she sees is soup. Great! <laughs> you can have it. Thank you. You can act like you found it. Just, okay. tell, just tell the camera. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at this decanter. That is a beauty. Wish it was lid, but geez, that's beautiful. I'm really tempted to actually just get this for no reason. It's $5 though, I won't, but that's really pretty. We're gonna go do bad things. Did you find any more? No, not yet, will you go? <laughs> So you didn't have to scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> okay, there's a lot here to look at. We got an amber glass pot with an amber glass bowl inside of it, but this one's cranberry, this one's amber. That's mind blowing. Um, then we got, it's sitting in an amber glass skillet. That's too expensive, which really is a bummer. 
That, mm, without the lid, no thanks. Mm, with the lid, mm, it's really dirty, probably no. Um, we've got little ramekins that still don't stack. Ramekins never stack. That's a print that is very uncommon, but not popular. It's a bummer. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's that section. This Goodwill always has a really good wood section. So we, they put everything wooden in one section in our Goodwills. And it just always makes me want to buy some of these like little trunks and stuff. They're really pretty. They've got a good selection here today, but I don't dabble in wooden trunks. I like this a lot. It's burnt orange and I love it. Oh my gosh. What is this? There's four of them. Why is this? Why? That was a pretty good first stop. Now we are going to keep thrifting, but we got to go stop by our flea market booth real quick, do a little restocking, then we'll get back to it. So stick around. So one of our toy booths, flea market reselling places, has a birthday celebration for itself once a year, and it's supposed to be a kid's event. And we've been told that kid stuff toys like my booth has a lot of always does well when this event comes around. Now. They definitely oversold it a bit, and I think because of COVID and stuff, it's not going to be wild or anything. But it'd be pretty dope if we go in there and I've sold a bunch of toys. It'd be nice to have a real nice weekend this weekend, at the least. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't see any kids running around this place. I don't know how long they're supposed to be here, but like Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen are supposed to be here. Uh, some people dressed up in costume. So... Maybe they're still running around. It'd be cool if they are. I'll take a picture of Spider-Man. I'll look like a big Spider-Man villain, probably, is what I'll look like. All right, either way, we got just a couple things. Oh, I dropped you. I'm so sorry I dropped you. Either way, we got a couple things to drop in there. Maybe we'll sell some of this this weekend. All right, I can see a few things missing. Uh, definitely sold a pop. A couple Nerf guns. A couple Nerf guns gone. Man. Plenty of stickers gone. So we've definitely sold some stuff. I can see some Nerf guns missing, you know, that kind of thing. Just a normal amount though. It doesn't look like anything crazy. Just a normal weekend amount. Sold a lot of stickers. If there were a bunch of kids here, allegedly there were, don't know if there were or not, but if there were, it's a bummer I missed them because that would have sold nicely. The old Fortnite stuff goes quick. I said a bunch of Fortnite stuff here on this thing, I don't know, a week or two ago. So it was kind of front facing. It all sold. One more Nerf gun. These are new. I sold so many of these. Every, almost everything Minecraft I get sells pretty quick. Baby little Eeyore. Baby little chunk or two. Now I'm breaking stuff. I kid you not, there's a kid right on the other side of this wall that has my uh, Fortnite doll and he's got one of these in his hand. And I had three of them, so two of them must have sold today. That kid got one and uh, someone else must have bought the other. None of my Lego cups are gone from last time I restocked them, but some of my big containers are, so I'll have at least one big Lego sale. Also, strangely, someone has left their dishwashing basket in my booth. That is not mine. We are not selling that kind of thing. I've sold a bunch of figures. <laughs> I had a ton of superhero figures up here. They're all gone. That probably makes sense. Superhero kids came for Spider-Man, bought that. I had a giant stormtrooper down there last time I was here. It's gone too, so I can't wait to see tonight's sales report. I'm just finishing up by hanging up some shirts here, which I have sold a few, which is pretty dope, but I didn't even know we had this. We must have brought that home from the bins. I must have found that one because I didn't know about it. I wish that fit me. Love me some Beavis and Butthead. I've also put it on the hanger the wrong way. Because I'm a smart one. Come on, Beavis. All right. Pick this up and we're good. Let's, uh, let's go check out Hannah's booth. Hannah's got a lot that she just put in. That car was full. Uh, but she sold a few things just like I did. There's just like this spot was empty and this spot was empty. So she just moved a bunch of stuff back around. We're just getting all the cat stuff. 
we need to just make this whole booth cat stuff. We should. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and eat lunch here while we're here because it's just too good not to and we haven't had it in a couple weeks. Uh, Lego bottle opener, I'll never not show it off. I got a grape soda. I got a huckleberry soda. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. Mine's good too. Mmm, tradesies. Yours tastes like candy, as usual. <laughs> you picked the sweetest stuff. I didn't expect it to. I thought it would be a little more sour. It's strong, isn't it? Yeah, it's I like good. this. This is good. I'm already going back to bed. We still got to do one more thrift store, though, so. Kate. Yeah. Kate. Kate. Must, must thrift. <laughs> Here we are at our last stop. This year, Goodwill, another good one. But we're going to cut it a little bit short today and not go to more because we've got like 37 packages to get home and open. And I'm really excited about it. So stick around. I keep saying stick around like you're going somewhere. You ain't going nowhere, are you? <laughs> So let me show you what just happened here. So you can experience what I just went through. I was looking down here and then all of a sudden he was staring at me right in the face. Oh well, come on. I'm in core four, all right. Pfeffer. So not only were there a lot of new games here, there's a lot of people here, and there was one guy leaving with a big stack of Xbox games when I came in. So he might've got the good stuff, but there's a bunch of stuff here that I either don't have or I remember might be kind of valuable or, or whatever. So I'm just gonna run through all these, figure it all out real quick, and buy what I don't have or buy what's valuable. There's so much, definitely buy that. Tell you that right now uh so let me figure this out and then we'll talk about it okay but seriously there's a bunch of really cute salt and pepper shakers here look at all these little wooden ones they're so cute look at it it's so cute so cute i like this one that kind of looks like it says here lies salt here lies pepper grim <gasps> the best one are they donkeys i guess so that's a not a salt and pepper shaker i mean i guess you gotta pour it out of its booty i'm confused all right this big stack is the yes stack it's all stuff that i need and then this is the no stack pretty much I either have it or you know, something wrong with it and uh, i'm gonna see if i can't get out of here with these cases but we'll see our Goodwill's here are pretty stingy about giving away stuff, even if they're missing the disc. Or sometimes I can get them for a dollar, sometimes it's difficult, but we'll see. It's different from Goodwill to Goodwill. Okay, one more. Yes, I'm still on salt and pepper shakers, but what is this? Whoever donated these was into something very, very weird. All right, well, I keep finding more and more games. More and more and more and more. Lots of games I don't have. Holy crap, all these are priced $7. $7 for around the world games. I don't think anything that Zoo made is worth $7, but I guess we'll see. Okay, I swear to you, I moved on to a different section. I can prove it. But look at these salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> these I might actually get. Um, made in Hong Kong, so they could be old. Um, but I don't really know too much about them other than that, so. I like them, I'm gonna put them in my booth. They're $1.49, I'll take it. Oh, I don't need this, but I like it. Look at this little enamelware set. It's got a little princess crown on it, a little tiny cup. I like it a lot. Um, Sweet Tulip brand, it's cute, I like it. 
so I really want to buy these just so I can paint them yellow. Swiss cheese. No? Okay. Yes. See, this is interesting. You know our it's a little piggy bank. You may recognize him because he, we have a giant one in uh, the doorway of our toy booth. Over there. Oh my gosh, floor. I can't talk. But it's also the mascot of Big Boy, so you might recognize yeah. that. Or you might just say that's that thing from Austin Powers. Okay, sure, but he's 249. He's not old, um, but he still goes for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him. You coming home with me, little man? Wow, look at these majestic chickens. Them's are some pretty roosters. Can someone explain to me why I'm into this so much? Cause I really don't know. It's just, I don't know. I like it. Rugrats. Rugrats. Yeah. yeah, so um, I'm thinking about getting them in a dollar piece isn't bad. Hannah's hype about the Rugrats VHS. Get them, put them in the cart. Oh, can we watch them tonight? Sure. You're very crooked. Yeah, that's no, fine. It makes me look straight. All right, there's some, I found, I keep finding more games and there's some good ones over here. Like, I think this is like a $14, $15 game. So I'm not paying $7 for it at Thrift. Because I, I already got a copy, I'm not. I'm not flipping that. Uh, I don't know I'm, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm leaving with a lot, but there's just so much here, and it's all spread out. It's everywhere. Do you want to get the Rugrat VHS? Irrationally so. Well, I mean, if I get them, we'll probably watch them once and then put them in our booth. And someone's gonna irrationally Boom. buy them from us. All right. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, let's get out of here. So as I thought, they wouldn't really come off those empty cases. They're just. They don't, they just don't do that around here. I, I've I've maybe been able to talk them into like giving me an empty, I think I got an empty Pac-Man case for a dollar once. And uh, so I usually don't try, but I want to try it with those because I think that snowboarding games are like, you know, it's probably a $20 game or something. But I do have some loose disc GameCube Naruto games at home. I don't know if it's that one, but it's worth a shot to find out. So I went ahead and bought it. All right, on the VCR today is Rugrats, Diaper Duo. And it's the one that's on the VCR today because it's the only one that was actually really wow. All these are all the way at their end. I swear, every single one of them. But let's just run through all this stuff real quick. I'll tell you what episodes we got. I, I tell you what, I remember every single one of these. I think I like you. That was a good one. A Rugrats Vacation. A very good one. Uh, Mommy Mania. Angelica Knows Best. I think I remember that one. Here's a personal favorite of mine, Dr. Tommy Pickles. <laughs> Let's go. All right, what did you get? Ooh, I got a big boy piggy pink, piggy bank, piggy pink. Um, I just, I've seen these before and know they're collectible. I looked it up and it was worth a few bucks. So it's the perfect thing for our resale booth, so it was good. I got a big stack of games. We'll go over that in a minute, but uh, two bags of Skylanders. We've made so much money on Skylanders, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like collecting them, but I'm almost done with the collection. I have 90% of them. There's just some odd ones. There's some super rare ones I'll never get, but there's some odd ones. Uh, like So I grabbed these because there's a supercharger one in here I don't have. I don't have this strange boy. You're not going to probably get a, too good of a look at him. But uh, he's just a little, he's not even a supercharger. He's just on a motorcycle, but he's not from the supercharger series, I now realize. But at, at any rate, I don't have him. Uh, the rest of these I do have, so the rest of these we will sell. And uh, I sell them all for 2 $3 a piece, unless they're worth a little bit more. And then same with this bag. Uh, I think I don't have this one. I might. I didn't recognize the color scheme because there's so many color schemes. Why don't you talk about the next thing you got? I'm going to look for this guy real quick. I got soup. Dallas found me this and um, these little Tupperware canisters are a pretty good flip on eBay. So I went ahead and got this one. It's got the little pattern in the front there. I actually have this one already in the booth, um, but it doesn't have the right lid on it. It's got a, a like a white clear lid on it, oh, so I'm nice. excited to get this one in there. Well, so there's the one I had, right? He's all gray and rocky, and then here's the one that I brought home today. So I like it whenever I can I can get the doubles that I don't have, because I really am getting close. So this doesn't happen very often. And then that right there, the rest of that will make us 50, 60 bucks. I mean, I didn't do the math, but you know, there's there's plenty of sales there. What else did you get? I got 
a salt and pepper shaker set. There was an absolute ton of salt and pepper shakers there. Ooh, that one's good. Yeah, it, there was a bunch of like little wooden ones because it looked like somebody just dumped off their entire collection at Goodwill. There were some weird ones. That's very so. nice. <laughs> All right, well, I got two bags of Nerf stuff. Again, uh, just great stuff. Good prices, too. You know that's too, don't you? I do. Finally, we're going to be able to sell one. Um, there's kind of a couple periods of us having toy booths. Basically, before we had the channel, we had one booth. And now that we have this channel, we have several. And the before booth, I sold the gun that this clip goes to just daily sometimes, it seemed like. But for whatever reason, I had so many of these clips. I mean, I, they sell okay without it, but the collectors, people that know, they want that clip. And then there's just some more clips, some more clips and darts. I'm getting to where I finally feel like I have enough because I also want to perhaps we've thought about I don't know if we're gonna do this but we thought about uh, selling clips or bundles of clips on eBay but you've got to have a lot to do that you know I, I'd have to have several hundred stored up and I did before we started these toy booths but I'm finally getting close to having hundreds of them again what else did you get I got these are probably my find of the day these are a bunch of little peanuts collector cups um, I showed them pretty closely earlier but there's just a bunch of them and they're really cute. I was kind of bummed this one's not in great condition, but I, you, you get what it says. It says, crying isn't going to help. Oh, so. very nice. Oh, yeah. Well, peanut stuff is always good. So, is that everything you got? That's it. That's everything I got except for the video games. So, uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth, which I could have sworn I'd had, but um, maybe it was the fractured butthole. <laughs> Uh, that I had, but I still really feel like I had it, but I don't know. Sometimes I mess up and my app tells me I do or don't have something. But when you've got, you know, three, four thousand video games, it's kind of hard to keep track of. I did end up with one of those two cases that was missing the game, so we got the Naruto case. I have this game, but I didn't have the Platinum's Hits version, so I grabbed that. Armored Core 4, let's go. Super pumped about that one. Amped, another game I felt like I had. Either my app was busted today, or I'm just tripping. That's one to flip. Hey. Make sure that gets on eBay later. Uh, Chrome Hounds. I don't know why that font was hard to read, but it was. <laughs> uh, street Hoops. Yeah, I had to look because one of the other street games was there. <laughs> and it had like a $10, $12 dollar price tag on it or something crazy. John Woo presents Stronghold. It does stay. Stranglehold. Okay. I had to work on that one. Oh, that was a pretty good stack of games. Stuff I'm happy to put in the collection. Uh, especially since, it's, how long has it been? A couple weeks since I brought home like 10 games at once. So, Is this true? It's all stuff we can play. Yay! Our collection grows. Alright, so now let's move some of this stuff out of the way so we can open these here packages. There's so many. How many was there? Four! I don't know where to start. Just pick one. Um, let's do this. This tubey one, I'm very intrigued. All right, hold on to it. Because it's like very well packaged. Yeah, it is. Um, and let's see who it's from before I forget. And this one's from Shane? This one's from Shane in Washington. My man Shane, I can't like, I can't even imagine what it is. Let me get in there. Do it. All right, wretch in there and pull it well. You know what? Alright, pull it out. You got it's it? It's really tight. I'm pulling you. Oh my goodness. It's in there good. <laughs> I can't. Oh my goodness, that hurt. <laughs> what is it? Oh, wow. I know exactly what it is now. It is Nerf. I'm Rip. tearing up your bubble wrap. Rip. It'll take us an hour to get that off there. Shane, you're the man at packaging. The hardest part of that Nerf gun to find. Honestly, one of, not not really one of the hardest Nerf parts to find, at least here. I find them enough to sell this gun every now and then. But you guys know how like once or twice a week we've been posting second videos with extra stuff in them. I've got a Nerf project I've been wanting to do. I don't know how you read my mind, Shane, but you're gonna see this on the channel again real soon. I'm gonna use this on a custom Nerf gun. I've been wanting to put together. I'm not even kidding. I've been waiting to find another. Because I've got one at each of my booths for sale. I mean, it doesn't sell all the time. It sells like, I sell like one or two of them a month for, I don't know what they're selling for, $35, something like that. Yeah. Um, so, 
I wanted to get another one for the custom project so I didn't have to take one of those out of there and miss a sale. So, all right, let's do this one next. Who's this? I don't remember any, all of them. Jeremy. Jeremy, cool. Jeremy from New Mexico. I know the area you're from, my man. Uh, my mother lived around there for a little while, so I've visited it in my younger years. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna die by giant scissors. I really thing. thought you clipped your beard for a second. <laughs> that, like, and the shaving begins. <laughs> that would be great. Whenever we, we do, <laughs> it's gotta happen now. Yep. You guys that sent us packages today are packaging wizards. Getting happy with the tape. Alright, I'm in there. It's like surgery. Alright, I don't think I tore up anything. Alright. Hold out your hands. Hold them up high. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Woo! There's so much. All right, open last. That one says. Uh -huh. um, all right, let's go to the toys. And I guess there's a snack. Hold on. All right, stop peeking! I just put my eyeballs all over it. All right, Tindo and Hannah. Here's a bunch of nonsense as your little way of saying. Thanks for the daily content and all the effort that goes into that. We hope this stuff brings a smile to your face like your hijinks do for us. Happy thrifting, <laughs> Jeremy and Ariel. Thanks. Sweet. I'm excited. Uh, that, that brings up a, a question I'd like to ask. Maybe you guys could comment below. No big deal, if not. But, like, how many couples do we have watching? I, I It's something that comes up in the comments quite a bit. Uh, people letting us know that them and their significant other watch. And it's often, it's often interesting even further to know, like, sometimes... It's the girl that likes video games and the guy, you know, it's, it's, it's always a mix. I mean, most of the time, obviously, it's like a, a couple that likes video games and then kind of share interests with each of us. Uh, it's always interesting to know, so let us know in the comments, because that's what it seems like it is to these guys. Uh, so, Hannah, show us what we got. Start with that one. Oh, it's Sonic on a little TV. I want to open I it do, so bad. I want to <laughs> open it so I can better show you what it looks like. Um, but it's Sonic on a little TV and it spins around in there and there's a Sega on top. It's going to be near impossible to see. I really want to open it. There's the Hulk on a uh, tractor. And what else? Mario on a vine. Very nice. That's neat. That's old too. See if I can see the date on it. It's, I can't. It's too small. But that's awesome. He's right on the top of the of a vine. And then She Hulk in a car. Huh? How come she didn't get a cool tractor like the Hulk? Those are awesome. Where'd you find this stuff at? I guess the thrift store, huh? A bag of something. I think it's uh like manuals and stuff for games. I don't know. Oh, cool. A little leather switch cover. Oh, it's for a cover for it when it's docked, I believe. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe. Yeah. It's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. A little dust cover. And then some manuals. Is that a poster? No. <gasps> that's so cool. It's a Nintendo Power poster, but not like not like one of the ones that came in the issue, but like a poster for the magazine in general. That is going to get framed. Put that over there safely. Is it more of them? <gasps> this probably came folded up in a game, but still, doesn't that deserve to be framed? That's beautiful. The back's cool too. There's more of them. Oh yeah. I didn't even look at it. Here we go. Solstice. The quest for the staff of Dimnos. Oh. Yeah, we gotta get frames for all these. Do you remember these? Yeah, I do. Uh, one Christmas, I got a box full of them. It's a little, uh, what do you, there's a term for these, I don't know. A little changey thingy. Hold on, there's more. Holographic thing? So these are just some more inserts from games, but not quite poster-esque like those others. Put those over there. All right, there's two games here. It looks like there's two discs in there turned in on each other so I can't see them. Does that mean it's a surprise? Ooh. Demo discs. So nice. one of them one of them's a jam pack, so that one has a case somewhere. But uh PlayStation Magazine demo disc. And it's an early issue. 
number three. I'm pretty sure I came home with the magazine for number three the other day. I don't have I don't have that demo disc, but you remember a few episodes ago I brought home a big stack of PlayStation magazines? I came home with the, the magazine for three. And then a copy of Heroes of Might and Magic. You know what? I feel like I have this game, but I don't have the manual. And nor and mine's not in as good as condition, so that was gonna be an upgrade. And we'll yeet the other one. Okay, the suspense is killing me. This I know. one this one says open last. I'm nervous about this one. You're setting me up, aren't you? What's it gonna be? I'm gonna close my eyes when I slide it out and let you see it first. And, okay. hear, and then I'm gonna hear your reaction. Put, it, put it on my right. eyeballs. It might be upside down, but I've definitely, I think I've got the front of it. She can't, I can't she, read she's it. not reacting. <laughs> okay. Catcher. It's some sort of. You are. It's a. It's a PC game. Yeah. No, no. Oh well, maybe it's. It's for the CDI. That's amazing. No way. I didn't know what CDI games really looked like. I do now. Never really. Never really looked for them. Never really found one. Dope. Now I have to get the power cables for this. <laughs> That's crazy. Catcher. Comment below. I mean, if you've ever played it, uh, comment below and let me know what it's like. If uh, anyone else watching knows about it, let me know. Because uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I've never played that. Doesn't look familiar at all. But I'm excited about it. I'm excited to have something on the CDI. All right. We better be keeping these letters together. Or I'm not going to remember the names of everybody. We got it. You got it? Yeah. You remember the names or you got the letters? Shane, Jeremy. I think this is. Ivan? Well, what's, uh... Jeremy and Ariel. Jeremy and Ariel. Well, I don't think this one needs my giant scissors. <laughs> Who's this? I think Ivan from Long Beach. Ivan from Long Beach, my man. I miss Long Beach. How do you see? What? It's a 3D print. It's beautiful! Oh! I'm not sure what the character is. Is it Yoda or is it Brain? No, it's not. No. Neither. <laughs> Hold on, something in here might tell us. There's a uh, there's a note. I recognize him. Shoot, I'm drawing a blank. It'll probably be on the note. Hold on, let's read it first. Hello there, Tindo and Hannah. Love the videos. Keep them coming. Your videos have really helped me look at my reselling business in a way, in a different way. You have also reignited that creative fire inside me. That's cool. a very very sweet thing you say. Um, inside you will find a couple of my creations slash doodles slash junk. Hope you guys enjoy them. Thanks, Ivan. It's just Ivan on YouTube. P.S. None of the Instagram handles on the items are active anymore. Good to know. Um, so pumped right now. This is stuff he made. That's so cool. I'm super pumped. I, I appreciate you saying the thing about creativity, man, because, you know, this, uh, I don't even know how to say this. This channel, when I finally made this channel, when I finally said, here we go, daily videos, let's do this. Let's make a living out of this. Let's do it. It was because I was doing a lot of other things to fulfill my own creative desires. I'm not going to mess up your art, I swear. And I, the, the, the things I did were ultimately failures. I mean, not in the worst way. I, I definitely got a lot out of them. I was making movies. I was making music. I was doing all these things. And one by one, they didn't really make money. They didn't pan out. And so I finally said, well, let's reorganize it all. Let me put all my skill sets into one thing. And now I make music for this channel. You know, some of the stuff you hear is mine. Not all of it. Not even a lot of it. But, you know, I do music. And then I use my video editing skills. I use my storytelling skills. I use my creativity, which is one of the big ones. The stuff that I make on this channel. I was trying to make stuff before, but it was never fulfilling because it never had an ultimate purpose. And uh, I, I appreciate you saying what you said because it seems like you... You get it, you know. You watch me make these things and do the things we do, and you go, "Oh, same," and that uh, that means a lot to me. So I've been made these handmade pins, and they're just little monsteritos. They're so cute. Monsteritos, no, no er. All right, those are awesome. And then here's this is another three D printed one, but he's painted it. So so this is just the monster. This one is that that Ivan is 3D printed, and uh, it's a pretty good quality print, if I do say so myself. It's very good, very good fidelity. Um, this one is equally good. Uh, 
but he's painted it red and blue and I appreciate your packaging that you've made. It looks a lot like the packaging we made for our stuff. Um, and are these stickers? Ah! <laughs> Look at these stickers! So these, so more of the Monsteritos, Monsteritos, um, and then these are luchadors. <gasps> That's so awesome! And I have no idea what I'm going to put them on, but I'm going to find something to put them on. Um, look at this Frankenstein. Did you see this? I didn't yet. And then, that's probably the coolest one I've seen. Oh, wow. All right, and then El Mero Metal. That's beautiful. Those are great. And I, I've told you guys a million times I have sticker problems, so we'll find something to put that on. All right, we've got one more, and this one's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> but it says, very fragile, do not drop. But then it also looks like it's been dropped, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out. Who's this from? This one, I don't remember now, okay. I'll look. Zachary, my man from Ohio. I knew it was from Ohio, I couldn't remember who. There is a note. Feel free to read on camera if you want. Thank you very much for letting me know because sometimes I just buzz right through it. <laughs> Tindo and Hannah, I really enjoy watching your videos and you guys finding randomness at Goodwill and other stores. I started watching a few weeks ago and now I watch every day. The Goodwills near me uh, ship out their video games to be sold online, but I do still find good stuff at garage sales and other stores. So I'm glad you have somewhere else to go because we do hear that a lot. Our Goodwill does that, but they're not really that bad. They, don't, they get way too much to do it with everything. So sometimes if they recognize the best of the best video games, they'll do that, but they often don't, uh, which is <laughs> or else I wouldn't have all this. Uh, I am doing a part-time reselling job while in college. That's awesome. Uh, for the for the summer, mainly buying video games and other good stuff. That's so cool. Included, you will find a let's let's just be surprised. And I'll, don't 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 let me let me be completely surprised. There's something I see. This is the fragile thing. So much packaging. Well, I've already saw the other thing. Is this? This looks like it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, okay, now I understand. I didn't recognize why the, the label of this Lion King game was different, but now I do. It's part of a, a, a different set of like three discs or something. But I don't care, because I don't have this game. The Lion King Simba's Mighty Adventure. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, we do not... I don't know if we have any Lion King games. I think we have the Sega one. Yes. This might be that, but just ported. Included, you will find a collector's copy of a Lion King game for PS1 and a blankety... Blankety blank blank that I found in the last week. The game I found at the Salvation Army. That's good. The blankety blank I got at a garage sale and it needs glued back onto its base. Didn't have any super glue. It's we've okay. got we've got super glue. We, we got that. <laughs> All the best and keep up the good work, Zach. Zach, thank you so much. Um, I know what this is. I'm carefully. You guys don't know, but I read the letter. Carefully opening. Oh. It's so much better than I ever thought. I oh my god! I read Pokemon statue, but I did not expect that. I expected some basic Pikachu. I see now, yeah. I'm pretty terrible with any Pokemon past number 151, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you his name, but I love it. It's so cool. It is beautiful. He barely needs gluing back on. I see where he's supposed to, but he sits on there just fine himself. All right, well, you know how I was talking about a Pokemon shelf. Now we've got a good start. All right, let's run through these names one more time. Zach, thank you so much for that. Um, it's beautiful. It'll look even better with some LED lights, I think, behind it. It's, it's semi-transparent. Uh, Jeremy and Ariel, thank you two so much for watching. Um, this stuff was nuts. I, just, I don't even know what to say. I'm not even going to try to. I'm going to start crying. Um, let's see. Ivan, the stickers. Just... It's all so cool. I, I mean, it, it also like, don't get me wrong, I couldn't do this kind of artwork that well myself. <laughs> but aside from that, the stickers and the, the labeling you made, it almost looks like something I would have made. So it makes me like it even more. Um, and I love 3D printing, so. And then what was the other one? Shane. Shane, my man. What the heck? You guys stop it. Um, <laughs> 
I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this video now. You know, it was almost one more package. I know. But it's still in the post office. So if you guys sent us something and you're feeling left out, um, we'll go pick it up tomorrow or something. Um, but in the meantime, we've got double CRTs to watch. I guess you guys have probably been watching this the whole time, haven't you? I doubt you can make out the Rugrats. I sure can on that little screen. But guys, oh my gosh, I don't know how to end this video now. Before we get out of here, um, what are the things we say? Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, just subscribe because of the big scissors. You don't need another reason. The video was fine. It was just okay. These scissors, though, you've never seen a pair, so subscribe. Uh, somebody suggested in the comments yesterday that I should paint them yellow, and I wish I could. But uh, this company that makes them, Fiskars, they uh, are known for their orange handled scissors. So this wouldn't be a pair of Fiskars scissors if they weren't orange. That's the only reason they're not already yellow. Maybe one of these days I'll get a second pair and do it, but not these. <sighs> Subscribe. Uh, check out our Discord before you go. Come over there and chat with us. It's a busy, happening place. We're already almost like 500 people, so it's nuts. You should be there. You're left out. So come. Come join. Uh, maybe if you joined the Discord once upon a time and the notifications bugged you so you deleted it, go get back on it, turn the notifications off, and just check on it from time to time. Because I know you're buying stuff at the thrift store and you're not showing it to me, and I want to see it. So come join it, all right? The notifications are annoying. I turn them off on my phone. I don't get notifications for the Discord because it's just too many. It's like, yeah, I get more notifications than a normal person because I'm the admin and it's just it's too much. So I just get on it every couple hours and check it out and see what you guys are buying. So go check that out. Also, before you go, do me another big favor. Check out our merch store, tindostrash.com. We actually spent some time today working on some new merch and I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's not launched yet but we're gonna sell out some of the stuff that's on there right now. So there's some items on the merch store, some of the shirts we have, it's your last chance to get them before we change to the new merch. That's really it, except for, I guess, you should know before we get out of here that I, we do post daily videos every single day. And we haven't missed a day for 300 and, let me do the math, 320 something, maybe early, low 30s days in a row. I'm serious. It's, it's like 300. No, I'm, I just did the math in my head. It's like 332 or 28. It's in that area. Videos in a row. And we're not stopping anytime soon. So make sure to come back tomorrow and check out what we're doing tomorrow. And until then, guys, peace out.